I'm gonna give you the ultimate practice routine for beginners who wanna learn pop music. And if you watch until the end, I'm going to share with you a really powerful tool that you can use to learn many pop songs on your own. So here's something that you can kind of start out with. Again, it's nothing too crazy, but just to kind of give you a, uh, get your foot in the door in terms of what you can practice to start learning pop music. Now, here's the thing about pop music that makes it different than other genres. Now, you may not uh, know this as a beginner, but excuse me, what makes pop music different than other genres, how it sets itself apart from R&B, jazz, um, gospel music, is the series of chords that the song uses. So when you're listening to a song, you can hear the melody, right? But you're also hearing, whether you realize it or not, a series of chords that happen kind of in the background of the song, right? And the series of chords that are used and also the types of chords that are used is what makes pop music sound different than R&B music because R&B music not only uses a different uh, string of chords, but it also just uses different types of chords altogether than pop music. And gospel has its own series of chords that it uses and it's different types of chords to, uh, that it uses. So whether you hear it or not, that's actually what you're hearing. One of the things that makes genres different is the chords that are used, but also the instruments, the rhythm patterns, all those types of things. So if you want to get into pop music, here is an easy practice routine if you are a complete beginner. Now, the chords that are usually used is, and basically what you're looking at is what's called chord progressions. Um, I may do a full breakdown on what chord progressions are uh, later on in a different video, but I just want you to listen very, very closely to what I'm going to play. Right? This is just listening. So this is a chord, and I'll break each of these chords down to you in a second, but again, I just want you to listen. So this is a chord here, and then you have the next chord, and then you have the next chord, and then you have the next chord. So why am I showing you these chords? Because the four chords that I've just showed you are the chords that are most commonly used in pop music. So if I were to sing, let's say, a uh, Maroon 5 song, right? Because uh, girls like you run around with guys like me to sundown when I come through. I need a girl like you, yeah, yeah. Ba, ba, ba. And guess what other song uses? It's another pop song, um, Someone You Love. Right, and I, guys, do not judge me. I don't know the lyrics, but you get the point. Now the day bleeds and the night falls, and something, something, blah, 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 through it all. And then the guard down, and then you pull the rug. I was getting kind of used to being someone you love. Right, it uses the same chords, they're pretty much the same song. There's a bunch of other songs that use these chords too. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to show you how to play these chords. This is just to get you to get you started, right? This is bare basics. You can practice this um, just so you can start learning some songs in this particular chord progression. So the first chord I'm gonna show you is the um, is this chord, it's the C chord, right? Um, so the way this chord is played is you start with C, right, with your thumb, and C is the white key to the left of the two black keys. So it goes C, D, E, F, like the alphabet, G, after G, the, uh, the notes reset with the letter A, and then there's B, and then there's C again, and then it, the sequence just starts over again. So the whole piano is just C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, repeated a bunch of times, higher and lower in tone. So... What we're going to do is we're going to play the first chord, which is going to contain C uh, at the bottom with our thumb. We're going to play E with our middle finger, and we're going to play G with our pinky. Now, this may take a little bit of practice um, to play these chords, so if it kind of it feels a little weird at first, that's perfectly fine. But you're going to play C, E, and G with your thumb, middle finger, and pinky, respectively. You will play them all at the same time. 
The next chord you're going to play is actually this chord is just the G major chord, right? So it's G, B, D. But all we're going to do is we're going to just take this G and just bring it up here because it's closer to the first chord we just played. So as opposed to you having to jump around, you're going to just invert the chord to go like this. And it's the same chord. The way that chord is played, the way we're going to do it, is going to play, we're going to use our thumb. We're going to bring it over a white key over to B. And we're going to use our index finger to play D. So this was where C was, but we're going to play this note on the left with our thumb, this note on the right with our index finger. And we're going to keep our pinky at G. We're going to just play it again for the next chord. So we have C, E, G as the first chord. And then B, D, G, thumb, index, pinky for the next chord. Before I continue um, the next chord, I want to let you know that I have a free piano in three steps video. If you are a complete beginner, if you want to get in the door, get your foot in the door in terms of learning how to play the piano, I have a three steps video um, that gets you like naming the keys and some exercises and things you can do to get, you know, learning piano. That is in the description box. You can sign up for that video. It's completely free. You get some other cool uh, free surprises and perks that will come with that video. So now the next chord you're going to play, all you're going to do is take each of your fingers, the same fingers, your thumb, index, and pinky, and move them up each one white key. So thumb's going to go back to C. Your index finger's going to move up to E, and your pinky's going to go from G to A. So now you have thumb on C, index finger on E, and pinky on A. Right? So that's the third chord. The final chord is going to have your thumb staying on C, your pinky is going to stay on A, and all you're going to do is you're going to take your index finger, release that E, and you're going to bring your third, your middle finger down to play F. So it's going to be thumb on C, third finger on F, sorry, middle finger on F, and pinky on A. So if you put it all together, you have C, E, G, B, D, G, this chord is C, E, A, and the final chord is C, F, A. If you want to make it fancy, you can always add the left hand bass. Now, the left hand is pretty straightforward. You're just going to play, play one note at a time. So let me just run through it really quick. So that bass gives it that, that, that foundation, that filler. That's why the bass is important. So the left hand, you just play the bass. So all the left hand is going to do is going to play C with the pinky. So you're just playing wherever your right hand's playing, right? So if your right hand is in middle C, you're going to just start with the C that's an octave lower. You start with your pinky on C. This is the left hand. Then you'll use your index finger to play G. Your thumb will play A right next door. And then you can use your middle finger to play F. So C, G, A, F. So each time the right hand plays a chord, you're going to play a note on the left hand. So C here. The next chord, you're going to play G with your left hand. The next chord, you're going to play your thumb for A. And the next chord, you're going to play your left hand for F. Sorry, your third finger, your middle finger for F. So as you're approaching this, if you're a beginner, please practice each hand separately first. So practice the right hand, practice those chords. When you get it to a point where you're really comfortable with playing each chord without stopping, then you can practice the left hand. Once you get the left hand to the point where you can practice it without stopping, then you want to put both hands together. You don't want to try to do both hands together at like out the gate, especially if it's a lot for you. Just break it up and get each part comfortable and then you want to do both hands together. 
I did tell you uh, there is a an app, and this is, by the way, it's an iPad-only app. Um, I really hope that maybe one day they'll expand it to, like, iPhone. But I think there's a reason why um, they have, this is an iPad-only app, because um, this app here is called Piano Maestro. I'm trying to see if I can get the, the camera to focus here. Piano Maestro is an app. If you have an iPad, you get this app. This app has tons of different pop songs that you can choose from, and they are also on different levels. It's an interactive app where it will play the sheet music. It'll show the sheet music on the screen, and it will listen for your accuracy um, with the notes, and it'll give you a score, but it also has practice mode where it'll help you practice each of those notes. Let me just show you what this looks like really quickly. So if you go to your menu, once you go into your main menu, you go to library, you go to where it says songs here, and then from there, you can just go where it says categories, you can go to where it says pop and rock, and you'll see all these different artists, like you got Shakira, you got, um, you got Bruno Mars on here, you got all kinds of songs, you got Alicia Keys. So if you select a song, and I have this on mute just so it doesn't interfere with the, um, the uh, you know, the, the, the video. But I just wanted to show you how this works. So as you can see, if you don't have a piano, you can always use the keyboard on here. But if you do have a keyboard, you see how the notes, uh, they show up and then it will listen for the chords, right? So, or the notes. Oops, I was in the wrong, uh, let me see. So we got, see how the notes turn green as I'm playing them. So it's listening for the notes and it will basically hear if you play the right note or the wrong note. But again, you can always change the speed. You can always have the app break it up where you can just practice the notes and, you know, the song in sections and things like that. But my point is if pop is where you want to go, that is a great app where you can get access to a bunch of different pop songs you can learn. It'll just give you the sheet music version of it. So if you want other practice routines for different types of goals you want to reach, there's a playlist um, on this side where you can go into my playlist where there's different types of practice routines for sight reading, for rhythm, for whatever you want to learn. So just check out that playlist. And if you like this video, please like, comment, um, subscribe, turn on notifications for the next video. And if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section. So thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.